you struggle to see God as a father, or maybe you're trying to understand why God is known as a father in the Christian faith. In this video clip, I will be sharing why God wants every human to see and experience him as a father. Coming up. Hi, my name is Nee from Encourage Media, and my passion is to create inspirational and encouraging content to help you overcome real life struggles with practical and biblical wisdom. By the way, I have a free ebook available for download, so check the descriptions below to find the link. If you're getting value from this video, press the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let's get moving. God has been trying from the beginning to reveal himself as father to us. Because if we go back to Genesis chapter 1, when he created all the animals, suddenly God pauses and says, Hey Jesus and Holy Spirit, we need to talk. But we're about to do something that has never been done before. And this is so important that we need to sit down and talk about it. Because we're doing something that's one of the kind. We're about to create humans. What's going to be their character? What's going to be their way of thinking? What do we want to represent to the world when we create humans? Besides, you know what we're going to do? We're going to create them in our image. So, Holy Spirit, Jesus, need the biggest mirror you can find. Because we're going to stand in front of a mirror that we're going to form man and woman while looking at ourselves. That's a father. Only a father would do that. I have two sons. I take my time with my sons. I try to teach them. I try to read to them. Even when I'm tired and I'm I don't want to do anything. My son comes to me and says, Dad, I want to read. Forget that part. I just want to read to him. Because I'm a father. That's what fathers do, right? Because your kids just pull on you. And the same thing with mothers. Your kids can pull on you in a way that no one else can. And that's what God was trying to say in the beginning. And that's why he took his time to form us. He's like, I am such a natural father. I'm going to take my time. Because I need these guys to get the picture of who I am. I am a good father. And I didn't just form anything. I thought about what I was trying to do. I thought about every cell. I thought about every vein. I thought about the eyes and the ears and the mouth and the nose and every strand of hair and the position of the fingers and the fingernails. I thought about every little detail, detail because it was so important to him for us to know that he is Father. Now, he may have held back that revelation fully in the Old Testament. But when Jesus came, it's like, hey Jesus, I need the world to know that my original name is Father. That's the most important thing to me. God is your Father. He is the Father, but He's also your Father. And He's so passionate for you to know that He wants to be your Father. Now, I'm not going to deny the fact that we've all had experiences in our lives that kind of taint what a father is like. Some of us might have grown up with not so good fathers, or you've had experience with men that kind of tainted your view. That's okay, and I'm so sorry that happened. I'm so sorry you had some bad experiences. I'm so sorry maybe you have a good father. I'm so sorry you might have questions about what a father is like. But this is what God is trying to say to you today. I, El Shaddai, Yahweh, Jehovah, I am your father. Let's just assume that Bill Gates was my dad. Now, he's one of the richest men in the world, right? Microsoft and all that. So assume that Bill Gates was my dad and I had access to everything that Bill Gates had. That would be pretty awesome. I mean, just imagine I had a billion dollars in my account. Hmm. What would I do? Probably would buy the US, maybe. I'll <laughs> <laughs> just buy United States. United States is not mine. I'm going to change the name to United States of Adirity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe that's too small. I'm just going to buy a planet actually. I'm going to just move out of planet Earth and just move to Mars. Just buy the entire <laughs> Mars. Mars is now my domain. Now, the reason why I can think like that is because I can afford it, right? Because <laughs> I can afford it. So I, I, have the, I have the capacity to dream big because I know I can pay for it. Now, take that picture and put God in that picture. The Almighty God the creator of heaven and earth, the mighty man in battle, the greatest and the biggest and the mightiest of all, the one who lives outside of time, the one who actually created time, who can see everything at once. He can see a thousand billion years from now. He is your father. 
how would that affect how you think? Thank you so much for watching. A reminder to check the descriptions below to find the link to get your free ebook available for download now. If you're getting value from this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.